known for its catchy advertising and innovative products, Duluth Trading Company, with its 37 retail stores, was operating out of Belleville and Mount Horeb. In 2017, the decision was made to combine the two offices and invest in a new $39 million headquarters in the heart of Mount Horeb's downtown. Once completed, Duluth will employ about 850 locally within their Mount Horeb headquarters, Belleville Distribution Center, and Verona Return Center, with an additional 177 jobs in their four retail and two outlet stores throughout Wisconsin. Through the creation of a downtown redevelopment plan and new tax incremental district, the Duluth Trading Project will serve as a catalyst, bringing new businesses and jobs to Mount Horeb's downtown. Duratech Industries, a 40-year-old global company providing custom label printing services for customers all around the world, could have expanded anywhere but made the decision to remain in La Crosse. The company's new $7.5 million, 47,000 square foot expansion was made possible with tax credit assistance from WEDC, as well as industrial revenue bonds and tax incremental financing assistance from the city of La Crosse. Since the introduction of its new product line, the $35 million company has had double digit sales growth. Duratech currently employs more than 275 individuals and will add another 125 jobs when the facility is fully operational. When the need to expand their Plymouth campus arose, Masters Gallery Foods looked to the village of Oostburg to build a new packaging and distribution facility. Local and state elected officials helped to advance legislation allowing Oostburg and other Wisconsin communities that were tipped out to raise the cap for tax-incremented financing. This allowed for the expansion of Master's Gallery and the continued growth of their high-quality cheese offerings sold to retailers, restaurants, and distributors throughout the country. Phase 1 of 3, estimated at $36 million plus equipment, is expected to result in roughly 120 new jobs over the next two to three years, with the potential to create an additional 200 jobs or more. <laughs>